tuck your chin. Take a few moments to settle into your practice as usual. Breathing in through the crown of the head, exhaling, letting everything melt like water off a duck, just drips and rolls. Inhale through the crown of the head, exhale, everything rolls. Setting an intention for your practice. Maybe it's mobility this morning. Maybe it's I am warm, right? The power of positive thinking. Perhaps I am focused. Whatever, whatever calls to you here today, set that for your intention. Let it be your touchstone to come back to over and over again. Go ahead and allow the eyes to blink open if they're not already. Hands on the knees, a little bit of mobility through the torso. We're just going to reach over towards the left and to make a big circle with your body, right? So like your shoulders are tracing the inside of a big barrel, just around, noticing what's showing up for you. And then coming back around over to the other side. Beautiful. And then back through center, sitting nice and tall. Left hand comes to the mat or to a block if you have one handy. Left hand comes to that floor and then reach that right arm up and open and open up, finding that nice big stretch there. Beautiful, and then coming over to the other side, right arm to the mat, left arm reaches up and open, look up towards the fingers. Back through center, we're going to hinge and fold, folding down over the legs. And then if you have it in your practice this morning, you can snuggle those elbows into the shin. Maybe pressing palms together, pushing the pinkies towards the floor. And just enjoying the stretch here. We're going to hold this for a few moments. So if this doesn't feel good to you, you can always just find a nice forward lean here, hands on the knees. Taking about three more rounds of breath here. And then using your hands, pressing yourself back up coming all the way up to a seat, reaching your arms around behind you, interlacing the fingers or taking reverse prayer behind you and lifting the heart, pulling the biceps back. Create a little more tension than I intended. And then lift the heart, let the head fall. Nice. Let's go ahead and find our way towards the top of our mat in a forward fold. So however you wanna get there, walking your feet, melting down, maybe heel towing the feet a little bit wider than the hips, letting the hands come to the mat and just sway side to side. So if it doesn't feel good to let your hands hang out here, you can always find a rag doll with grabbing opposite elbows. We're just gonna find some length through the back body here. Another forward fold, you know, I like these. And then inhale, find a half lift now. 
Shoulders reach long, hips reach long. Exhale, melt down over the legs. Keep the arms nice and wide, root to rise. Bend the knees slightly, press palms together at the top. Let's see if we can just start to wake up here, pressing palms, looking up, and then exhale, hands to heart center. So noticing where you're feeling sensation this morning as we move through these basic movements. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, draw hands down the midline, bend the knees, fold down to the mat. Head is heavy, tailbone reaches towards the ceiling. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt down, sweep the arms, reach all the way up, press palms together, hands at heart center. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. On this one, we're gonna step up with the right foot, right knee comes to the mat, keep the right hand on the mat and sweep the left arm up and open. So again, if you have a block handy, you can always use that. If you have the space, you might reach that right hand or left hand behind you towards the back of the mat. He's got a golf ball up there. Throwing around. Both hands down inside that front foot. Go ahead and heel toe that left foot out to the edge of the mat. Keep the toes pointing forward though. Lift the back knee off the mat. And we're just going to kind of rock around in the hips here. So finding a little bit of strength and mobility through the hips. Nice, put that right knee back on the mat and then step back with the left knee. Find your way to a child's pose. Push back, stretch through the arms, forehead comes to the mat. Look up towards the hands. Find your way back to that forward fold. So lifting the knees off the mat and just stepping one foot at a time, a little bit wider than hip width. Grab opposite the elbows. Should feel a little bit more open now as we start to move through these shapes. Inhale, fingertips come to the mat, half lift. Exhale, melt. Sweep the arms nice and wide. Reach all the way up. Press palms together at the heart center. Relax your shoulders, zip up the belly. Check in with your intention. What was that word that you chose for today? What word embodies your practice? Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Press palms together. Exhale, float down. Moving with a little bit more fluid. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt down, draw every ounce of breath out and then sweep the arms nice and wide as you inhale back up. Hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find that half lift. Exhale, melt down. Sweep the arms when you get all the way empty and come all the way back up. Hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. We're gonna hold down here, inhale, half lift. Step back with that left foot, left knee comes down. Left hand stays inside the right foot and then sweep open into that easy twist. And then if you have the space, reach behind you, look behind you. Right hand comes inside the right foot, lift the left knee off the mat, step that right foot out so that your uh, forearm, your arm and your line, your shoulder and your knee are in line and then just rock back and forth into the hips here.
Nice. Go ahead and put that left knee down and then just step back with that right foot to meet the left and sit back into that child's pose just like we did before. If you want to take a wide stance with the child's pose, go right ahead. If you want to fold over the thighs and drape the body over the thighs, maybe bring the arms down by your side, creating a tiny little ball here. Reaching the arms nice and long, curl the toes under. Find your way to your first down dog of the day. So just lifting the hips up and back. We're going to hold here for a few moments. So maybe taking a shorter stance. So walking your feet a little bit closer so that you can get a really good stretch up the back of the legs. If you have to bend the knees, you can do that to give yourself some space so you can send the hips back in space. One more breath here. See if you can relax if you're holding any tension. We're going to look up towards the hands. Take a few steps until you're back at the top of your mat and then roll up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. So you're standing up, shoulders over hips, everything all stacked, hands to heart center. Take a nice big in breath here. So we're gonna get a little bit of balance with a little bit of hip mobility at the same time. So if you have a wall handy or something to hold on to, you might want to. If you wanna practice your balance, we're gonna stand on one leg here. So just lifting the right foot off the mat into tabletop. We're just going to, you can put your hands on your hips or hands at heart center. We're just going to open up that hip out to the side and come back maybe creating some circles. So you're kind of standing on one foot, but creating some hip circles here. A little bit of balance, a little bit of generating some heat here. Nice. Good, so I turned so you could see, so I'm gonna turn back. So from here, we're just going to step this right foot back into a warrior two. So you're gonna plant that foot down and then open up into the left hip. So square your hips off, reach the arms nice and wide. And relax your shoulders. Good, try to sink a little bit lower into this shape. Try to push the back foot into the mat. Sink down, take a nice big in breath here. Perfect, and then exhale, both hands come to the mat, either side of that front foot, come up onto the heel of that back leg, and then, or the toes of the back leg, and then find your way into a nice low lunge here. So again, we're just working through the hips, maybe rocking a little forward and back. Perfect. We're going to step this right foot behind the left. So taking a couple steps, step behind and then out towards the left, melt down into a forward fold with the back leg crossed behind. You'll definitely feel this stretch. Inhale, half lift, and then go ahead and bend that right knee. Use your hands to help you sit down into our easy twist. So left foot is on top, left foot is, or left knee is bent, left foot is on the outside of the right thigh, wrap the right elbow around the left knee and look out over the left shoulder. Twisty turny, back and Go ahead and unravel both hands to the top of the mat and then just rock yourself back up, stand into that forward fold and notice, whew, feeling kind of loose, feeling kind of limber. Starting to work out the cobwebs, feels nice. <laughs> and then let's root, uh, roll up one vertebrae at a time. 
So we're standing all the way back up. We're gonna do that on the second side. So wherever you put your hands last time, just float the knee, even with the hip, oops, all over, and then sweep that knee out to the side and then create some circles. Just taking a few around, getting some snap crackle pops there. And then, whoops, and then over to the other side. Every time I look at the camera, it's all over. Over to the other side. Nice. And then we're going to open that knee back up, step back and find your way, oops, really balanced challenge, into that warrior two right foot forward this time. Left foot back, reach the right arm all the way up. Find your way into that warrior two, sink low. Knees track right over the second, between the second and third toe. So if you're really tight, your knee is going to be a bigger angle, right? So that's like 105 maybe or something like that. If you have more space in your hips, your knee is going to stack right over your ankle and it's just wherever you are today. Neither is wrong. Relax your shoulders. Swivel that back hand forward, come up onto that back foot on the toes and just rock a little here. Finding that space in the hips. Maybe you can even start to lower the hips and lift the heart. If you're really tight, you're a little bit higher and you're looking towards your back foot, but if you have the space, you're actually looking out towards the end of your mat or past the end of your mat. We're going to step forward as many steps as it takes to get that left foot behind the right. Scissor up the legs together and then walk the hands back so you're in a forward fold with the left leg behind the right. Melt down over the legs. Inhale, find a half lift, bend the knee on the left leg, the one that's behind, come down onto that shin and find your way into your half Lord of the Fishes pose, right foot outside of the left thigh, left hand around the right knee, look over the back shoulder. Nice, go ahead and unravel, bring your hands back to the top of the mat, rock forward and just go ahead and stand up and back into that forward fold. Maybe your feet are as wide as your mat this time. Melt down, really starting to get some length, some opening, maybe you shake a little side to side, bump the hip. Good, inhale, half lift, exhale, heel toe your feet in one step towards each other. Put the right arm on the, or the, grab the right ankle with the left hand, the left ankle with the right hand, and then melt back down. So it changes things, that little grip. Inhale, release the hands, step one step closer and then just switch the hands. Whichever one was on top before goes on the bottom. Nice, release the hands, sweep the arms nice and wide, reach all the way up, exhale, press palms to heart center, take a moment, come back to your intention, whatever it was that you chose, that word. What do you need from your practice right now? Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, fold. I'm going to find a half lift here. And then we're going to step back with the right foot 
and then the left foot and then come down to our tabletop. So knees are underneath the hips, hands are underneath the arms. We're just going to take a few cat cows here. Exhale, see how you're starting to warm up and open up. Exhaling for cat shape, inhaling for cow shape. Nice. Let's find a neutral spine. Place the left hand underneath the shoulder here. Walk the left knee towards the midline and then just open up. So you're gonna step that right foot back and open up that left arm into our side gate pose. Maybe reach that arm overhead. You can always step out into a side plank if that's where you wanna to be today. And then bring that right arm back overhead. We're just going to swivel forward, bring that right knee back to the mat and keep that right arm out from the side. Just a little bit of a little core work here, a little back work. And then tuck that arm underneath, find your way into your thread the needle. Reach the left arm nice and long. Walk the left hand back underneath, sweep the arm up and open, and we are going to step back into that gate pose again. So make sure you're balanced on left knee and left hand. Reach the right leg long, right arm long. You can keep that foot planted on the mat if that feels good. Nice. If you want a little bit more, you can reach that right arm back towards the foot, bend the knee, and maybe find that foot for a quad stretch. It's optional, just depends on how open you are. If you're not here today, you can just bend that knee back and reach the arm as if you were going to hold them. It's not important that you actually get it unless you want that extra stretch. Then we're just going to bring hand down, knee down, find our way to a few rounds of cat and cow to flush it out. Maybe some side to side wiggles. Sun must be coming out up there. <laughs> right knee comes under the hip, right hand underneath the shoulder, left foot steps back, sweep the left arm up and open. Now we're back in our gate pose, keeping that left foot down, reach the left arm long towards the top of the mat. So you wanna be careful not to dump into the arm here. You wanna really lift this bottom hip up and open. Exhale, square off the shoulders, Square off the knees, keep that left arm reaching out. So everything is nice and square, a little core activation here. And then slide that left arm underneath, come down onto the shoulder, find your thread, the needle, right arm reaches long overhead. Walk the right hand back underneath. Scoop that left arm up. We're gonna step back into that gate pose. Left leg back, left arm up, float that left leg, maybe reach long with the left arm. And if you did it on the other side, you might take that bind ankle, open up into that stretch. Again, if that doesn't work for you, you can just pull heel in towards your hip Reach your arm out towards that bottom of your mat. Nice. Perfect. Let's go ahead and release. Come back into your cat and cow for a few rounds to stretch and wiggle and squiggle. 
Maybe pushing back and coming forward. Very nice. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Curl the toes under. Lift the hips up and back into a nice gentle downward facing dog. Look up towards the hands. Take as many steps as it takes to get back up there. I can't tell you how often I've used that sequence to get myself from standing up. It looks fancier than trying to grab something and pull. <laughs> And then sweep the hands nice and wide, come all the way up, pressing palms together and then sliding them down to the heart space. Maybe tucking your thumbs into the sternum area. Maybe bowing the head a little bit here. Walking your big toes to touch. A little space between the heels. Relax your shoulders and find length here. Sitting up nice and tall. Nice. We're going to take a little baby tree here. So lift, pop that right heel off the mat, bend the knee, and then spin that right knee out, just like we did when we did those mobility exercises. Slide the sole of the foot into the ankle, kind of lower calf area. We're just going to hang out right here in this shape. Nice, maybe starting to float. Finding your version of your tree here. So maybe the, the foot comes to the calf. As far as I'm going to go today. Nice, we're just coming back into that warrior two. So slide that right foot off the leg, send it back as you open up and then just step back and then turn your shoulders. A little bit of mobility, gentle mobility here. Look over the left hand, reach the shoulders nice and long, find your version of warrior two. Beautiful, both hands come down either side of that front foot and then step forward into your forward fold. Big toes touch, little space in the heels. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms all the way up. Let's find that tree pose on the second side. Hands snuggle in, thumb into the sternum. Pop the left heel and then spin that left knee out. And keep that foot on the mat. We're really looking for the hip mobility more than anything. If you wanna play with balance today, you can do that. So when you take your hips from a relatively closed stance and then step back into that warrior two into an open hip, it's very useful when we come to doing things like walking on ice or battling snow. As yogis, we tend to lengthen and stretch through the hips and we very rarely work on strengthening them and strong hips and tight hips are not the same thing so taking those movements when we don't have the ground underneath us can be very helpful sweep both hands back either side of that front foot and then on this one we're just going to step forward for a moment and melt down over the legs. And then start to lower the hips coming. Maybe the heels pop off the mat. Maybe we come into our tiny ball first and then we just sit right down whoo, onto that mat. I'm going to turn so that you can see. Coming to a butterfly pose, soles of the feet together. Peeling the feet open like the pages of a book. Maybe holding onto the feet with your hands, finding a nice flat back here. So lifting up the heart and then melting down. My elbows land right around mid thigh or into the knees. And that helps to open up the hips a little. Just finding a little bit of stillness here. 
letting gravity do all of the work. Go ahead and inhale, lift all the way back up. Bring your hands to the outsides of the knees. Pull them together. And then you can windshield wiper. A little to the right, a little to the left. Feels good here. And then we're coming all the way down. Bring your knees with you. And then once you get on your back, we're crossing the right leg. So the feet are in the air. You're just crossing the right knee over. Foot with the left hand and see if you can get the left foot with the right hand. So you're pulling your gently, applying some pressure with your hands to bring your feet towards kind of like back and down towards you. I just thought of the most obscure reference to where your hands go. If you've ever ridden a horse and have <laughs> brought the horse into reverse, that's kind of the same idea there. Like I said, it was very obscure. I don't know why I thought of that. Nice, go ahead and release. Hang on to that right knee though. Just let the left leg go nice and long and just tug that right knee towards you, maybe creating some of those hip circles that we've done a few times already. And then let's take that right knee across into a nice easy twist, opening up through the torso. Right arm reaches long, left hand on the right knee, looking straight up at the sky or over the right hand. Go ahead and unravel, come back through center. Rock a little side to side, a little lower back massage. And then we're just going to cross the left knee over the right. And if you can't, so say reaching the feet is too much, you can just bring your hands to the top of that bottom knee and kind of hook your fingers in a cross legged, you know, in a crosswise manner. Or if you can grab onto those feet, it just adds a little bit of depth. It does put some pressure on the knees though, so take what you need. Maybe staying here is ideal for you. You're really just trying to find that nice deep stretch through both hips. Remember, anytime you feel sensation through the knee, if you flex that foot, it helps to protect that knee. So with the toes pointed, Pulling on this ankle might create some sensation, but by flexing your, now you're really getting into the deep hip area. Or as we say in bar, the under butt. Go ahead and let go. Hold on to that left knee. Reach the right leg nice and long. Create those circles. Just feeling what there is to feel in that hip. Feels kind of good, actually. And then let's find that twist. 
taking that left leg across, stacking your hips, keeping your shoulders parallel to the ground. harder to breathe in this shape, but just try to take as productive of breath as you can. And go ahead and unwind, unravel, bring your feet to the mat, lift your hips and just swing them a little side to side to find center. And then reach the arms long overhead, reach the legs long down the mat. Let the back arch, enjoy that morning stretch. And then bring the hands down by the side, let the feet fold open, find your way to your Shavasana shape, your resting pose. Bringing movement to fingers and toes. Finding your way towards your right side and pausing there. Using your hands to help you coming back to any seat that calls to you, any seat that feels comfortable today. Letting your shoulders roll back and down. Let your head be heavy, chin tucks towards chest. We're going to practice linking breath to movement. One of the best ways to reduce anxiety is to find a cadence to breath. And if you add a little bit of movement to that, it can actually help you to center quicker, to become present quicker. It helps you to let everything else go. So just a nice gentle neck roll here. We're going to inhale the head over towards the left. And then exhale across to the other side. 
pause and inhale with right ear to right shoulder. And then exhale, letting the head fall forward and down all the way to the other side. So you're only moving as fast as your breath. Pausing, inhale. Exhale, round the front to the other side. Inhale as you pause. So keep moving this way, attaching your breath to your movement. Each movement gets its own breath. Every pause gets its own breath. Let everything else go except for the breath and the movement. Notice how you feel. The next time you get to a point that feels natural, go ahead and allow your head to come back to its regular shape. Maybe shake out the shoulders a moment, taking some shoulder rolls or shimmies. Notice how you feel now. Ready to deal with your day, ready to tackle hump day with all kinds of renewed energy. Maybe feeling nice and limber, maybe the soreness, stiffness has worked its way out. Bringing hands to heart center and then snuggling the thumbs into the sternum one more time. Bowing the head gradually, very slowly and slightly towards the hands. Coming back to that intention that you set at the beginning of class that we visited throughout our class. Observing if that intention will serve you as you move through your day. It's okay if it doesn't. If not, choose another one. If you feel like, yep, this is going to work for me, then hang on to that intention. Maybe write it on a sticky note when we're done here. Put it on your computer screen. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. Have a fabulous hump day. Namaste.